What is going on, everybody? I want to talk to you about the price of Games Workshop Contrast Paint. In my hand here, I have Contrast Blood Angels Red. Uh, it's a very, very high pigmented red, and it also acts like a wash, which is pretty cool. And here you can see it on the Games Workshop website. It is $7.80 water-based formula, 18 milliliters. Now, uh, this has been getting a lot of slack for being maybe the most expensive miniature paint on the market currently uh, per milliliter versus, you know, the price or price per milliliter compared to, say, a Vallejo, Army Painter, uh, Minotaur, um, you know, I think that's about all of them I know. Uh, I'm not familiar with the pricing yet of a Chimera or Creature Caster. Oh, and then also there's a Reaper. But anyway, people are talking about the price. And they don't want to buy them, some people anyway, because the price seems kind of high. Now, for me, coming from uh, oil painting, the price doesn't seem high at all. And uh, I'm going to just show you a few examples um, that this is still not a terrible deal for paint, but it is starting to approach like fine artist paints. So. In my hand here is Blood Angels Red Contrast Paint. Now this is Gamblin Red or Cadmium Red Medium. It's 37 milliliters, so it's about double the size. So if it was double the price, it would be about $16. But it's not double the price. Now this is non-toxic water-based. Cadmium is very toxic. It is a heavy metal that you cannot get out of your body. So a brush liquor like myself has to be very wary of uh, when I'm oil painting, for example, to not put it in my mouth. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so cadmium red is going to be a very strong, strong red like this. Both of them will be able to mix, although this is transparent. Cadmiums are also transparent. So this is a strong pigmented high-grade artist red. And we're going to go over here to dickblick.com and the cadmium red medium, 37 milliliter tube. It's right here. On sale for $23.21, list price $31. Now, I have a lot of these types of tubes of paint, so it would be scary to actually add up uh, what I got. But anyway, so it should be about $16.00 on the same price as like a GW one, but this is actually $24, almost $23, normally $31, although uh, dickblick.com is probably the best place to get uh, art supplies, uh, fine art supplies, or jerrysartorama.com because they always have sales because they're such large online stores and they have many locations throughout the U.S. that they can uh, buy in huge, you know, millions of uh, products and huge amounts of bulk orders and give you a great price. But anyway, so that's cadmium red. Uh, next one I want to show you. This company here is Holbein. Okay, Holbein or Holbein, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, extra fine artist oil color. And this is going to be a cadmium yellow light. Also cadmium, dangerous, toxic uh, paint. This tube is 40 milliliters. So more paint in here. And this company is from Japan. So if you're familiar with uh, oil painting, um, you might not know of Holbein, but they are from Japan and it's probably more of a positive stereotype. But I feel like when it comes to craftsmanship and caring, uh, Japan has good products. So anyway, this is a fine art product here. And let's check on Dick Blick. This is Cadmium Yellow Light. We can see it right here, 40 mil. So $24, normally $39.25. So that is going to be uh, three more milliliters than the other one for an extra dollar right now on sale, although it's currently out of stock, which all of these are pretty much out of stock on Dick Blick because I guess they sell so many of them. So anyway, once again, if you wanted yellow and you were an oil painter, you could be looking at spending $24 for a tube of paint. Whereas if you wanted iandin yellow and contrast paint for your miniatures, 
you'd be spending seven dollars and eighty cents obviously you're getting less i understand that but i'm just saying there's no little version of this too oh actually there is <laughs> there's a 20 milliliter one for fifteen dollars uh, i've never seen that on sale but apparently you can order it that's funny um so we're going to move on to the next one here this company is rembrandt they are from holland okay rembrandt is from holland and actually i didn't mention where gambling is i want to say oregon but it'd be amazing if i actually remembered that um gambling coach portland oregon wow i remember that from like 20 years ago anyway gambling's from oregon uh rembrandt here is from holland this is also a 40 milliliter tube and this is also a cadmium yellow light so here you see cadmium yellow light 40 mil 24 17 and now we're going to go to gambling cadmium yellow light 24 56 32 75 normal and this is the rembrandt brand so these are all fine art like artist grade fine art materials these are not student grade paints like your Windsor Newton uh, Winton brand that you see miniature painters using on tanks and stuff uh, they do make like a Windsor Newton fine art version but a lot of people buy the really cheap student grade which has a lot more filler a lot less pigment uh, they'll have a lot of blends of pigments fun fact uh, on high grade oil paints or any oil paint that's worth anything and probably all fine art paints um, it actually lists the pigments included in the tube um, probably unable to see but anyway so this is pigment py which stands for pigment yellow 35 so pigment yellow 35 is going to be cadmium yellow light now this is just a little side fun fact for you this is a benefit when you're painting on canvas and mixing colors because you want to know how many pigments you're mixing because the more pigments you mix together the quicker your painting gets muddy now miniature painting like games workshop of the Alejo, they don't actually list what pigments are in their paints they're all blends for the most part you don't know which blue is just one solid pigment of blue just like you wouldn't know which yellow is just say pigment yellow 35. Um, and all of the fine art paints generally have one sometimes two it's also interesting because when you buy a black paint you might get a black pigment and a blue pigment in the uh, same tube so if you're into fine art that's worth checking uh, and especially obviously if you're into color mixing but anyway let's move on now i just want to show you this because you're looking at 25 dollars or whatever for a yellow here uh, but this is not the highest end i had a bunch of these paints before they're called old it's a company called old holland i believe it's like one of the oldest paint factories or paint manufacturers in the world and uh, i just want to show you the price of some of these paints i actually sold a ton of them on ebay i used to get them at 40 percent off when i worked at uh, jerry's artorama selling art supplies when i was more into oil painting and uh i used to just spend like all my money on stocking up on uh really really high-end uh art supplies and then my thought was like when i get really good i will then use those so i just never used them i just paid money and kept them for years and i ended up selling them and i want to say i made like over a thousand or two thousand dollars selling off uh, excess uh, art supplies but uh, here we go. So Old Holland, if you look at this here, if you wanted cerulean blue in a 40 milliliter tube, that's going to run you $85.50. That's an exact tube this size for $85.50. That's a start collecting box for one tube of blue paint that just so happens to be very, very pretty. Uh, it's made out of gemstones or whatever it's cerulean uh, you can look up what that is i believe the cerulean is a gemstone that's ground up to make the pigment so there you go let's just for quick research i want to show you too cadmium yellow light we were just looking at that uh, and the other brands for about 25 dollars 
this one here forty seven dollars and forty cents now the reason obviously there's some price attached to this because of brand this is you know got a lot of prestige this brand but also um, I pretty much sold them all so I can't actually show you the tube but when you feel these even though well, well when you feel these even though they are the same color right cadmium yellow light cadmium yellow light 40 mil 40 mil there's different weights right so the Holbein one's actually heavier than the Rembrandt and that's because it has more pigment in it and less of the uh, linseed oil which is the common uh, binder or whatever for medium for oil painting so if I had still had I did have some of these I sold them if I had a cadmium yellow light Oh, uh, old Holland tube here it would probably most likely weigh more than the cadmium yellow light <coughs> Holbein and that's a big deal too so if you're at the art supply store you could you know weigh them in your hands I guess and the heavier they are the more likely they have more pigment and that way you can thin them way way down because there is an actual um, physical a high amount of pigment so I wanted to shoot this one on the webcam just so I could share the screen. Hopefully this worked. Uh, if it didn't, big waste of time. If it did, please subscribe. Please like the video. Comment if you have any questions. Uh, don't think your $7.80 is really breaking the bank for you because painting on uh, oil painting is much, much more expensive. So that's all I got for you. Take it easy.